Broadcasting live from Shibuya, Tokyo, this is your host, Aaron Randall. Welcome to American Hot Topics. Today we're going to talk about various and new items that are hot and trending in America. Things that are most commonly unknown to Japanese. Today's program is brought to you by Kotobanku. この番組は某国立大学で英語を教えているアーロンと英語学習中のジュンがお送りいたします。Today we're going to talk about electronic music in America. アーロンさん、この間、ハウスオブカード特集やったじゃないですか。Yeah, we did. ブレイキングバットって見たことあるっていうのはあの iTunes、iTunes ストアにコメントを書いてくださった方がいて、ハウスオブカード面白いですよね。そんなジュンさんにブレイキングバットを強くお勧めします。アロンは見たことあるかなって書いてくださった方がいるんですけど。ああ、Yes, I have seen Breaking Bad and I love that show. マジで。え、House of Cards どっちが好き ?I like House of Cards more. あ、そう。Yeah, yeah. それでも面白い ?Yeah, Breaking Bad is a completely different story. へえ。But it's very good. Very dramatic, very serious. あ、そう。Yeah, yeah. It's, it's very similar to House of Cards in many ways. Mm-hmm. やばいなまたこれ泥棒されちゃうかな。Yeah. <笑> yeah, I highly, yeah, I highly recommend Breaking Bad. マジで。Yeah, absolutely. じゃあすみません、ギャラミーさん、ちょっと僕見ちゃうかもしれないです、これね。Yeah. <笑>はい、ということで、今日は、えー、アロンさんまた話したいことは何ですか Well, actually, this week I'd love to talk about electronic dance music in America. またミュージック。Yes. あと定期的に放り込んできますよね。Yeah, I mean, music is my hobby, so. <笑> Absolutely.、Um, there have been many albums this year、mm-hmm. that were released、uh, that were EDM albums, and they are extremely popular.、Hey. And when I talk to my friends back home in America, we often talk about EDM or electronic dance music. Ah, so this c a l Yep. So currently in America and around the world, there's kind of an electronic music, or as most people often say, EDM. Revolution taking place. EDM refers to dance music, club music, or any music that is really made to make the listener dance. EDM の D は dance の D ってこと Right, right. So EDM stands for Electronic Dance Music. ほうほうほう EDM is made and produced for DJs, and the DJs then use the music at clubs and seamlessly move between one track to the next. Without the listener really knowing. EDM って僕初めて聞いたんですけど、うんまあ、基本的にはなんかあのピコピコなってる<笑>音楽のこと<笑>なんかその日本で言うとさ Perfume とか Mflow とかそういう感じ That is correct. However, there are you know, a lot of variations. For example, Perfume would be considered electronic pop. Mflow would be considered house. And the 1980s Japanese band YMO Would be considered electro. Ah, you know, I'm not a good guy. I'm not a good guy. Yes. So, EDM is a good genre. No, 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 no. Right. EDM is kind of the word that is used to describe all dance music. So, many different genres exist within the umbrella of EDM. For example, we have drum and bass, dubstep, house, and electro. One of the things that all of these genres have in common. Is they are all set to a 4 4 time signature. 4 4 time signature is the same as the 4 4 time signature. Right, exactly. 4分の3秒子って何て言うの We say 3 4. Ah, eh, in English, it's the same as the 4 4 time signature. It's the same as the 4 4 time signature. It's the same as the 4 4 time signature. We read from the top, it's the opposite. Ah, so. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm just sorry, but. 同じ表紙の中でもその四分音符とか八分音符ってなんていうの？よ四分音符ってさ、まあ、こうビートがあったら、うん、タンタンタンタンこれ四分音符四分音符ってなんていうの？ Those are quarter notes。あカタカナで言うとクォーターノート。Yes quarter notes、えー。じゃあこれがもうちょっと細かくなってタンタンタンタンタタタタタタタタなったら。Oh those are eighth notes。八分音符。Yes. Ah, yeah, mo. Ta 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 ta
。ありがとうございます。Yeah. <笑><笑>えっと、まあ、ごめんごめん、話戻すと、でも、えっと、この EDM は基本的には4 4 4 4で、メトロノームみたいにダンダンダンダンってな,なりっぱなしっていう感じ。Yes, yes, it is like a metronome. And it kind of emphasizes、um, the usage of computers, really. うんうんうん、うん、Or it, it emphasizes the fact that it was made by computers. うんうん、うん、right? That kind of metronome feel. はい、はい、robotic feel. そういう一定感覚で鳴ってる音って、要は我々の心臓ってさ、一定感覚で鳴ってるじゃん。うんうんうん、ダンダンダン。ああ、right, だから、ね、right. 生理的にそういうのが合うらしいよ。So actually, when we're relaxed, our hearts beat at 60 beats per minute. Ah, so now? No. Beat per minute, that's like 1分間に60回心臓 a Right. So, 1秒って1秒ごとに心臓が動いてると考えても差し支えない Right. And so, a lot of like popular electronic music、mm-hmm. is set at 120, right? Specifically, pop music or house also,、mm-hmm. right? Our hearts beat at half time、mm-hmm. of that. Of most electronic music. So it matches very well. 自然に体が縦揺れしちゃうようにできてるんですね。Absolutely, absolutely. It's, it's very kind of an instinctual rhythm. うんうん、うん、right, right? <笑> really, like even at a dance club, if you, if you see the people moving, it's very tribal and almost very instinctual the way people react to this kind of music. はい、ということで EDM の特徴の一つ目として4 4で4分の4でメトロノームのようにビートを刻むことで人々をもう踊らせてしまうということですね。Right, right. And one thing to watch out for is that, you know, listening to EDM on your PC, on PC speakers, is just not good because EDM wasn't really made to be listened to on those kinds of systems. え、どういうことですか ?EDM was made to make people dance. And the beat of which EDM kind of、uh, resonates at can only be felt through you know, loud systems or highly developed systems. The bass drum and the bass itself are pushed up very high in the mix and actually resonate at low frequencies, usually between 50 and 500 hertz. Now, this kind of mix cannot be heard through maybe、uh, PC speakers. You need quite an advanced system to be able to actually hear and feel this kind of mix. 確かに安っぽい再生機材だと、もうそれこそピコピコスカスカって感じで、<笑>全くこの良さが伝わってこないと。Yes, yes, yes. So it's not so much for the ears, but more for the body. <笑> right? Because it becomes more of a vibration whenever it goes below 500 hertz. <笑>はいはいはい。Right? なるほど。EDM はビートを刻んで人々を踊らせるための音楽なので、まあ、重点を感じられる環境で聴きましょうってことですね。Mm-hmm. あと他に何か EDM の特徴ってあります ?So the other big similarity amongst all genres of dance music is the use of sampling.June, do you know what sampling is?、まあ、誰かが過去に作った音からちょっとずつパクってくる感じですかね。Right, right. And usually it's a very, very short bit, maybe only four seconds. うんうん、うん、But with that bit, they create a rhythm and a melody. うんうん、うん、right? And Daft Punk were really kind of the pioneers in sampling. うんうん、うん、and kind of using sampling coupled with TR8 machines, which are drum machines, うんうん、うん、which provide also electronic drum samples, right? So that kind of、uh, combination really created the house sound back in the 1990s. それはさ、何がいいのいろいろパクってくるっていうのは。なんか聞いてる側が、これとこれがつながったんだとか、分かってそれが楽しいってこと Actually, actually, I think a lot of times the listener knows that they've heard it somewhere before, おお but they can't identify うん、うん、where they heard it from. はい、はい、it becomes kind of mysterious, うん、うん、right? And the listener becomes more intrigued,、うん、right? I know I've heard that somewhere before. うんうん、うん、where is that from? はい、はい、right? And then the producer is using that clip in a completely different way. Than it was intended for, right? They're turning it into maybe like a drum and bass track.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this kind of creates this、uh, kind of magic, right? This very attractiveness. Hey. Uh, that's a very gray area.、Hey. Right? Actually, recently,、mm-hmm. a lot of artists、um, don't file suit or pursue any kind of legal action if their tracks are sampled.、Mm-hmm. And the reason is 
if they're sampled and they're used, mm-hmm. then their track becomes more popular. はいはい、はい、and they can sell more records. Oh, なるほど So actually, Um, in recent times, a lot of singers mm-hmm. will, as soon as their track is finished, they'll mail out only the vocals、oh. to thousands of DJs hi, hi. and say, please remix this.、Hey. Yeah. There's a very famous、um, British singer right now. Her name is Ellie Golding. Ellie Golding? Yeah, I'm sure you've heard of her. She has one song. It's like. Ah, in Toroga? Yes, yes, the intro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's called Burn. And her marketing strategy for kind of becoming what she is now, a very famous pop singer,、yeah. was just that. Her producers would mail out the vocal tracks or stems, as we call it, to many DJs. Yes. えー、ここで一回整理すると EDM はドラムベースこれドラムベースですねドラムベースダブステップハウス、まあ、エレクトロとかさまざ、あ、まなサブカテゴリーを持つダンスミュージックの総称で、まあ、ビートとサンプリングがまあ共通の特徴だとでこれあのドラムベースとかダブステップとかサブカテゴリーごとの特徴っていうのはどうなってるんですか So the biggest difference between these four genres is the tempo or BPM おうおうおう So, starting with drum and bass, the BPM is usually quite fast, between 150 and 180 beats per minute, right? Dubstep is usually around 138 or 140.、Um, electro is around 110 or 150. And house music is usually set between 120 and 130. じゃあさアーロンこの EDM っぽいピコピコミュージックが流れてたとしてテンポとかの違いであこれはドラムベースだなみたいなことを思ってるってこと Oh, of course, yeah. You know, within one second, I can recognize if it's a drum and bass track or if it's a dubstep track. マジで Absolutely. 全くハウス以外全くわかんないわ今あの後で比較してみたいからおすすめしてくださいね Yeah! So let's talk about kind of the recent history of EDM. The first wave of EDM was really electronic a music back in the 1990s, and it was dubbed electronica. Bands like the Chemical Brothers and Fatboy Slim could be heard at clubs and raves all across the UK. After the 1990s, electronica kind of faded out of the mainstream. But when Daft Punk came and did a world tour in 2006 and 2007, It kind of brought electronic music, or what is now called EDM, back into the spotlight. Daft Punk actually released an album in 1999 called Discovery. However, it really didn't gain international acclaim until around the mid 2000s. And by that time, a lot of groups or DJs from specifically France or maybe Germany were becoming quite prominent in the world. Daft Punk, being from France themselves, started a French house kind of genre which spread very quickly around the world in the mid 2000s. French house and house are not the same. That's a good question. So, French house, first of all, is at a much slower BPM.、Uh, oh. It actually averages around 107 beats per minute. So, what is the difference? Right, yeah, it's kind of. 106でも108でもなくて107なの。Yeah, 107 is kind of,、uh, it's kind of famous online for people who are really into French house, but it's kind of this kind of golden spot where a lot of producers tend to set their BPM at.、えー、right? French house is also very melodic. でもテンポがゆっくりめで、かつメロディアスみたいなところだけで、これはハウスの中でもフレンチハウスだっていうのはわかるもんなの。Ah,、uh, actually, there's one more thing. That gives it away for being French house.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, a very defining characteristic of French house is that it uses something called side chaining. Side chain? Right, so a side chain is when the audio file of the kick is chained against the bass、mm-hmm. so that whenever the kick drum hits, the bass audio decreases in volume just a little bit. Hi, hi. Right when the kick hits. And this gives the sound that the kick is louder than everything else. うんうんうん、うん、But it's just a mirage. It's not really the case. Dun, 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 d
、相対的にこのダンっていう音を強調するっていう感じ。Yes, exactly. あ、right. じゃあ、えっ、ー、と、なるほど。ビートが強調されて、ゆっくりでメロディアス。Yes. もうちょっとゴージャスに聞こえるんですかね。Absolutely, absolutely. And one thing that French House does. Um, they don't just have one side chain, they have many side chains,、oh. maybe 20 or 30. So when the piano comes in,、mm-hmm. the piano is side chained against maybe a synth or a guitar.、Mm-hmm. So it's a very complex, intricate pattern of side chains、mm-hmm. bound together, creating this kind of larger than life noise. And that is Daft Punk, that is Justice,、mm-hmm. right? I was talking about the high rise of the high. そんなことまで調整してるんだったら確かにちょっとハイレズで聞きたくな,もうなりますねそう言われちゃったら。Absolutely。The band Justice also kind of picked up where Daft Punk left off and helped spread EDM even more across the world. The increased popularity of EDM was also influenced by live events and festivals. Promoters and venues realized that DJs generated larger profits. Diplo, a famous DJ, explained that a band plays for 45 minutes. DJs can play for hours. Rock bands, there's a few headliner dudes that can play 3,000, 4,000 capacity venues, but DJs play the same venues, they turn the crowd over two times. People buy drinks all night long at higher prices. It's a win win. なんかちょっと悲しい気持ちにもなりますけど、じゃあロックバンドとかよりも DJ の方がコストエフェクティブなんだ。Yes, yes, absolutely, yeah. So EDM was really a more economic way to go about running a venue. So rock bands tended to decrease in numbers for bookings as DJs increase. へぇ、mm-hmm. DJs make a lot of money, especially, you know, of course, the popular ones like、uh, Calvin Harris,、mm-hmm. Skrillex, Diplo. I mean, these guys are millionaires, right? You know, according to Forbes magazine, Calvin Harris has already grossed $46 million in a year. I'm a 40-year-old guy, DJ. Yeah. I'm a 40-year-old guy, DJ. Yeah. I'm a 40-year-old guy, DJ. Yeah. DJ. Yeah. I'm a 40-year-old guy, 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 DJ. <笑> DJ って基本的にはさ元としてはいろんな曲を知ってて、mm-hmm. それこそシームレスにかけて、right. その場を盛り上げる人ってことでしょう、right. でこの人たちは、まあ、自分で作曲とかサンプリングもするからそんなに儲けてんの、right. The difference between these guys and... あとその渋谷とかにいる普通の DJ の人いるじゃん、right, right, right. The difference between you know, Calvin Harris and Skrillex and regular DJs、mm-hmm. is Calvin Harris and Skrillex are creating the songs.、Aww. They're producing, right? So, of course, DJ is attached to them.、Mm-hmm. However, they are,、uh, they are fundamentally producers. Ah, so that's it. I'm going to create a little bit of sense. That's it. Right. ということで今や EDM とともに DJ は旧来のバンドをしのぐ勢いで稼いでるんですね。Mm, yes. As promoters and individuals alike realize the wealth and really money that can be gained from DJing, the accessibility and easeability to DJ also increased. For example, the average DJ today can just use a laptop to perform and create music to play at venues. The software required to produce extremely complex and high quality sounding tracks has also spread around very quickly. And this is actually due to a lot of illegal file sharing or torrenting of such software. Yeah. えー、ではここでアーロンさんのおすすめアーティストまた教えてもらっていいですかあのできればですねさっきの EDM のジャンルごとに教えてもらえると後でちょっと検索して聞きやすいんでお願いします。Yeah. Skrillex So let's start off with Dubstep and with Dubstep we have Skrillex Skrillex a very prominent DJ and the creator or probably the biggest promoter of Dubstep music which is a subgenre of EDM 
released an album with Diplo called Jack U. It is the debut studio album by dance duo Jack U, known individually as Skrillex and Diplo. Actually, the great thing about Skrillex is he collaborates with everyone. Actually, one of the greatest songs on the album is a collaboration with Skrillex and Justin Bieber, who is really kind of hated by a lot of musicians and people who make music. However, the song Where Are You Now, featuring Justin Bieber, is an amazing melodic track and really, really does good justice to Skrillex's production ability and his ability to write songs and music. ダブステップはスクリレックス。はい、はい、覚えました。Yeah. えー、じゃ続きまして、じゃハウスを教えていただいていいですか。Zed。If we're gonna talk about house, we have to talk about Zed. Another great release this year was by the artist Zed, and that was the album True Colors. And kind of like Skrillex with his collaboration with Justin Bieber, Zed collaborated with an artist known as Selena Gomez. And Selena Gomez used to be kind of the Disney Channel star, really had a cute, innocent image. But recently, you know, she's been in a lot of kind of adult oriented movies. And she did a song with Zed called I Want You to Know, which is a very poppy electronic, you know, anthem song. House was Zed. House was Zed. <laughs> 覚えました。<laughs> ちなみに、House というのは80年代にシカゴに存在したゲイクラブ、Warehouse が語源だそうです。Ah, yes, yes, I've heard about this before. マジ Yeah. <laughs> 知らなかったです。Yep. えで、ドラムベースは誰がいいですか Sigma. Alright, I have to recommend for drum and bass the group Sigma. Sigma are an English group, and they、uh, started in 2010 with their collaboration with DJ Fresh on a song called Lassitude. And、uh, that peaked on the UK singles chart.、Mm. After that, they kind of moved around the world. And probably、uh, my favorite song by them is called Nobody to Love. <laughs> the name is sad, but the song is really upbeat and really cool. Drum and bass is Sigma. Drum and bass is Sigma. Yeah, but Aaron is a club. I used to when I was younger, in my younger days. I was a club. 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 で飲んだ後とか行こうぜみたいな感じで、まあ、例えば先輩に誘われて何回か行ったことあるんだけど、uh-huh. よくそんなさ恥ずかしげもなくなんか踊れるなと思ってるんだけどみんな,なんですかアメリカ人はみんなダンスを学んできてるんですか No, no, no. You know, of course there are people who study dance and are really good at it. But a lot of the times at clubs, you know, people just want to let loose and get, you know, get drunk and, you know, let The music guide them. The key is really not caring about what others think, mm-hmm. right? Just moving to the music. Eh, ma ji de? Yeah. Kata to ka, o nanka pup pup te, go ka shi da ke de mo ii no. Yeah, anything is okay. Anything's okay. Actually, you know, if you're kind of like maybe a little nervous or embarrassed to dance in front of everyone,、mm-hmm. a lot of times, like, you know, wear a suit, hi, hi. maybe stand next to the bar, and just, you know, kind of bob your head up and down to the beat. Look around, scope out the club. <laughs> That can be a good tactic as well. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. 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 I wouldn't worry so much about that.、Oh. Actually, you know what?、Uh, a lot of times,、uh, Americans will start a dance circle,、oh. right? And people will just jump into the middle of the circle、oh. and kind of show off their moves.、Mm-hmm. A lot of times, The guy who they least expect to jump in, if he jumps in、mm-hmm. and just dances and lets it all out,、mm-hmm. even if it's bad, <laughs> it kind of like brings up the you know, spirit in the room. <laughs> はいはい、はい、and it's really fun for everyone. <laughs> いい yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>、yeah. <laughs> mm. A lot of times, the guys who are too good, who have、mm. too much training,、mm. they're kind of like、uh, annoying. You know? そう。It's like, why? You're, you're too good. Get out of here. So, I'm going to say, 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 Well, you know, I'm not sure, but、um, there must be people like that, obviously, right? Yeah, but it's not. Just like this, it's not. Yeah. 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 
本コーナーでご紹介した画像や動画は番組ホームページ www.ameho.tokyo のリンクよりご確認いただけます、えー、面白いコンテンツはリスナーの皆様からも募集中番組のお問い合わせページよりどしどしお送りください Thank you for joining us this week on American Hot Topics The music in this program is brought to you by Mateen Jahanmari and Aaron Randall <音楽>